Yep. Hey man, everything is good. Appreciate everything, you know, coming out here, seeing what's going on. I like the setup. It's dope. It's interesting. It's, it's homely. You know what I mean? We're gonna roll up something in a minute and, and, and you know, get we'll yeah, right, relax. Downtown PA, what is good? Yes. Heard up. You ready to blow it down tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, 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 I've been on the area a lot of in, in, um, in the northern um, PA area, uh, York, Pottsville, Redding, Harrisburg. So I've been moving around, but you know, Allentown, last time I was out here, Funkmaster Flex was out here. Right. And so I don't even remember how. Was that the main gate? It was one of them big clubs. It was yeah, a club was real big. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the biggest club in the back. Right. Well, that's the last time I was out here when it was Funk Man's Flex. So I'm just excited. Now, now I'm now I'm the headliner. The fuck right. is opening up. Now I'm headlining. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm Gucci. I'm good. Right. That's what's up, man. Yeah, because it's definitely a, a, a pleasure to have you here. You know what I mean? Because not a lot of legendary DJs come through Allentown. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they, when they do, it's just a go quick stay at the Renaissance and right. you know what I mean, keep it moving on their travels. No, know? I want to so, stay at the Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn, which one? On Hamilton Street? It doesn't matter. Just be the Holiday Inn. <laughs> There's one actually yeah. right up the street from Basically, uh, it's just saying that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't on that bougie shit, man. You know what I right. mean? Cause we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't here for that. We here to touch the people. You know, I'm trying to meet some new friends and have some new business opportunities going on for me and others, which I know I could bring a lot of things to the table because I already have so much going on now. Right. So um, all I do is really help and, and bring other people to the table. Like tonight, like you ain't know nothing about it. I just was like, yo, we're going to add her on. She's going to be here with me. I, this is my first time meeting her. Right. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that just goes to show, like, I'm not one of them type of selfish dudes in this business, and it's, 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 it's probably about 10% of us in this business mm -hmm. that's not selfish. True. The other 90% is just trying to get whatever they can get so they can move on. Mm -hmm. You feel good. me? Yeah. So, difference between bosses and employees. Hey, man, you know, we try to make it work, man. Yeah, got to. So, being that, you know, you've been in the game so long, you know, being a DJ, and, We've seen so many phases of music, and I know you probably had this question about a hundred million times already, but um, what is it that you think this music that we have nowadays, how do you think it's going to influence our DJs of the future? You know what I mean? Because the music back in the day was, to me, it was easier to get people to dance on the floor and it was meaning something. You know what I mean? Nowadays, it's really nothing about the beat. Right, it's basically just about the beat. Before it was about the lyrics. Actually, we even go back before then, before it was about the DJ, then the artist. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, you know, the artists now sometimes, they don't, they, they, they put out mixtapes and don't even put a DJ on it. And it's kind of like, that's where mixtapes started from. Mm -hmm. Like when you put out a mixtape, you didn't know about the artist, you knew about the DJ. Yeah. But now it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I get it with certain artists like a Fabulous. Fabulous don't need a DJ. No. But if you listen to his tape, he still got DJ drama on it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So it's like, well, if people not catching on to that, then what do you think? That you're Fabulous? That you can do it on your own? Or mm -hmm. you got... And they don't. So, you know, it's, it's so different now with just, um, just the age. I'm glad that I came up in the era that I did because I came from the era of I was I was brought in on um, you know cassette tapes and vinyl and you know belt drive turntables mm -hmm. and big ass doofy <laughs> mixes with with yes. big ass sample buttons right. like I came from that era like if, if my record skip I had to put a, a quarter and tape it down just so, I came from that era. You right. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was really hard for me to transition with the whole technology and then, then the music switch. It, went, it, it was like a real, everything just switched. Like Down South took it over and then I was really it. And they still got it too. They still got it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, the, the whole music industry is, is, I was just telling my man that when we was coming up, we were just listening to music. I was like, yo, everything just sounds the same. It was just like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like you just can't even tell who's who no more on the record. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? But who's that future? Nah, that was Panda. Like, Panda, yeah, okay, like, right. <laughs> all right. But then Panda, this is the crazy part. Panda goes four times platinum, and Future never went four times platinum. Mm -hmm. But that man that went four times platinum took your style. Yes. And went four times, times platinum. platinum. Yep. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. See how crazy the game is right now? Yeah. Like, I like authentic dudes who just different. There's some dudes that's out there that's still d different, but, you know what I mean, it's really saturated, man. So just to answer your question, it's just something that's very difficult right now in the game. And it's like, it's, it's going to change, but it's only going to change to the point where people stop being followers. Yeah. And that's, that's really the answer. If, the, if these DJs don't stop being followers, that's true. Oh, and before, we, and if, before we go any further, I definitely want y'all to give it up. I heard that you won Mixtape DJ of the, of the Year. Yeah, that's Philly, right? Philly, yeah, that's, that's big. Because I'm not from big. Philly. Right? That's the big thing. That's big, I don't yeah. even care about the war, nothing. I'm not from Philly. That's right? big. Mm -hmm. That is big. So I'm from a whole nother state and winning an award in a whole nother state. Mm -hmm. That's musically influenced all the way around the board, from DJs to, to, to artists. Some of the big, biggest name DJs come out of Philly. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the home of DJ Drama and Don Cannon, mixtape gods. Mm -hmm. Right. And, 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 I, and, and, and I take that trophy. And I'm going to it too. Listen, listen, it's, 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 a, it's a lot of hate with that. Trust me, it's a lot of hate with that. But at the end of the day, I'm so humble that I've been embraced by A.R. Rab and Gilly the Kid. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've seen that. Again, I'm from Jersey. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They could have had any did. DJ they want yeah, to be their up. official DJ. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Y'all so don't something know. that I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not just be. you're a cool guy. Yeah. And you like the way you It's not my looks either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what do you want me to do? You know what I mean? DJ Alamo in the building. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. For y'all that don't know, um, DJ Alamo was the official DJ for Brand Nubian uh, back in the day. You know we all rocked to them, slowed down. We did, I mean, I know I did. I know I had my Audi 5000 with the 1500 watts in the trunk bumping them. That was a small time, man. That was a small time to sit in it now? No, I mean, it was just a small time for me. I really didn't really get too much out of that. No? You start somewhere. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. Of course, yeah. listen, listen. I don't go beyond it. I don't, you know what I mean? Shy away from none of it, so. You know right? I mean? mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's definitely just a different era with accepting things and moving on with the way that music is going, because I don't, yeah. I personally don't get down with the music nowadays. That's why I want to create that 1997-99 era. You know what I'm saying? Between there, it was nice to listen to music. Yeah. How old are you? Yeah, Miss Jessie. Oh, I'm 22, but listen. 22, she a baby. Baby. I am a baby, but. To all of us, in it, even DJ it, Moneybag. It don't even matter, because hey. I do <laughs> all that. Hey, hey, hey. To the listeners out there, don't listen to this man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's he got talking the, He got the gold mic, so you know, it's real, <laughs> man. Right? Uh-huh. So yeah, 22 years old, in the game, wanted to be a host. You know, you got a lot of, a lot, like I told you before, you got a long way to go, but she know that they call it video vixens, man. I mean, I know, I know I'm familiar with the word, but like, if I haven't done at least four or more, mm -hmm. I can't be considered that. Like, I'm not really... Who told you that? Me. That's, that's, oh, okay. that's I was my personal say, I thought opinion. you was going to say somebody else. No, that's my personal opinion. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather keep doing, I'd rather keep being in the game um, mm -hmm. and keep doing that to have that title. Um, I have some. I have a, a video coming up. I believe in January, January seventh. I'll be in the Ritz um, Carlton. Mm -hmm. So after that, maybe Madeline I could. Monroe was in there. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I could add that and mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. get that title. But other than that, there is no titles right now. I'm just, I'm just pushing. Whatever Listen. I get. Word. That's what we all gotta do. You know what I mean? And like, Definitely. like DJ Alamo said, you know, nowadays it's really about the humble person. It's mm -hmm. really about the person that really wants to work with people and be able to continuously stay humble. Right. Because if you don't stay humble within this game, you're gonna get swallowed up in your feelings. You know, they should make shirts that say "Get out your feelings," mm -hmm. because you know I got a company that I'm starting called the Bad Guy, and what it is is, to me. My idea of a corporate America job, there's too much personal business goes on in corporate America. Mm -hmm. And that's where it all starts, where it's gonna it trickles down to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because Bobby Sue and the head CEO are good friends, you know, he doesn't want to tell her how to do her job right, you know, and he doesn't want her to have to worry about, you know, little Annie and them not getting Christmas presents because they always get their feelings involved. I definitely you know what I'm don't saying? I don't I, from my experience, I can't do uh 
I can't be friends or like have emotion attached to business. Mm -hmm. It never works out for me, ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely bad. And I know you've run, you've run into that little oh, he's shaking, shaking his, head. his head. Like he's like, you have no idea. Oh, you just can't mix business with personal sometimes. No, you, know? you can't. And we get it. I get it. It's like, trust me, I get it. I've had a lot of models work for me that it's just crazy. Like, you know. Egos. Like, <laughs> every, everybody yeah, wears yeah, the yeah, ego yeah, on their yeah. chest and on their shoulder nowadays. And, like, they really got something or they to put prove. On Facebook. Yeah, and the thing we were talking about a couple couple shows ago was about how if I'm, you, you my man's, right? But yeah, you got a clique that you hang with that's tough, but we still cool, you know what I'm saying? You won't like my pictures or you won't share my shit because then your boys are gonna sit there and pop shit with you. Like, what type of shit is that? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That makes, like,